What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. When you guys see this tray, do you know what time it is? Better yet, when you see this net and this tray, do we know what time it is? It's baby's time! Here we go, I right, show them what do we got today. We got another birth. Okay, this is a good clean birth. The pups are really big. And we got two, four, six. So we're gonna show you guys these pups as we pull them out. And also, the fish have remade it already. You see those white little bits down there? I'll let this guy swim away. Yeah, those bits over there. That's the evidence of remating. So let's get cracking. Let me pull these out. I'm, I'm glad to have a good clean batch because that last birth that we had from Big Mama, you know, I'm still viewing the loss on that one, but nothing like a, some nice babies here to make you feel better here. Yeah, it's very big, good size, healthy. Okay, thank you. Okay. So these guys were born earlier this morning, and uh, I just only have time now. Good, beautiful baby. Um, these are black diamond hybrids, and this one is a male, okay? Now, we're gonna talk a little bit about black hybrids, okay? With black hybrids, we look at the percentage of black diamond blood that they have, okay? And typically, the higher percentage of the black diamond bloodline that's in the fish, their body shape will start to resemble more and more of the traditional black diamond, okay? And typically, those type of pups will be worth more money and go for more money. And it's more of a, a guarantee that the fish will turn black and white as they get older. Okay, anything that still has like a longer tail or not your traditional black diamond shape, they are um, closer to what I call a first generation or second generation cross, right? Where the blood uh, lines are not as high purity. So we can see here, the body shape is very similar to a black diamond. It's very round. And if you look at the tail, let's see, can you see from the side? Can you, uh, there we go. See, it's a shorter tail. Okay, now a typical black diamond has a very short, high flag tail, and, uh, or, or closer, actually, Leopold eyes have more of that flag tail. But as we refine this uh, breeding process, the tail will get shorter and shorter, and you can see already the potential within the center of these spots have the white coming out already. All right, but what's different is, you see the pattern? It's got a really nice, unique pattern. So that's the goal when we do black hybrids. We try to create something that's gonna be black and white, but with more special pattern than your traditional Leopold eye or black diamond. All right, this is a female. Sometimes, that's why people are, quite often, they get confused uh, with pricing on, on, on these black hybrids and why there's expensive ones and cheap ones. So that's more or less the basic explanation and here we go so now this one looks a little bit more traditional with the spotting it doesn't have the crazy pattern but again also it still has the correct body shape so all these fish are going to turn out really nice as they get older okay see that very nice and then again does it have the tail can you see it see this tail is a little bit shorter than the previous one were you able to show them the tail? Can you yes. see it through the side here? The tail, right? Yes. You can see it, okay. And this is a female as well. So now we got two females and one male. So let's see, let's grab this one. Let's 
some of this, this poop on here. Get that out. Now with each one, you see they all have a different look. All right, this one, the spots are obviously much wider and it does have some of that weird unique pattern like what's going on there. The spots aren't round, they're like odd shaped spots, okay? And I'm willing to bet just from that alone, you can see already it's closer to the black diamond side. Okay, so you can see from this ray, it's already resembles a black diamond a lot more than the other two given the gray base and the white spots. So just from that, I haven't looked at the tail yet, but I'm willing to bet the tail's gonna be even shorter than the previous two that I showed you. So now let's take a look. Look at that. I was right on the money. Are you able to see the tail away? Yes. It's really short, right? It's a lot shorter than the other two. And this is coming from the same batch. So let's say like right now out of these three, this one has the highest potential to look closest to Black Diamond, uh, but it's still a hybrid. And the hybrid factor is the wild card factor, which creates that uniqueness later on as they develop. It's gonna do something different. And this one was a female as well. So this batch is turning out quite nice so far with one male and two females. If we continue like this, we'll be good, but let's see if my luck runs out and we start getting more males. Not that males are bad, okay? They're there's a high demand for males nowadays as well because many hobbyists are looking for rays that are smaller sized and in general, males are smaller than females. So they're just as in demand as a female. Okay, so now let me explain this guy a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. Can you guys see that the body shape is a little bit different? It's not as round. It's a little bit elongated. You see like, well, let me see, like this way, all right? It's, it's more oblong, this way. So now this is getting away from the traditional black diamond shape like what I was talking about. You can see it right away from the shape and then now if we look at the color and the spotting, it's starting to look different, okay? Now, what I see in this ray is it resembles more Henley eye than black diamond, okay? And that's because the mother does have Henley eye blood in it. With these multi-generation hybrids, there's gonna be a mix of different bloodlines and sometimes, you know, certain offspring, their genetics throw back, you know, to, to some earlier generations, okay? And then this tail is a little bit longer as well. Um, not quite as short as the last one. It's still short, but it's closer towards like the length of the second fish that we, we pulled up. And this one is a male. All right, three females, two males. So most likely if we get even sex ratio, that one is going to be a male. And he looked like he was trying to hitch a ride on top of that big ray. All right, he's a little bit spooked. Okay. So here we go, the last pup. And let's see if we can make an analysis on this one just based on looks. Okay, you guys gotta stop moving. All right, well, he's not cooperating. Let me, actually, let me put a little bit more water on it so that the ripples will be a little bit less and you guys can see it a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so this one's more round than the last one and the spotting is also more white. All right, so now again, this one is leaning back again towards towards the black diamond side. But I do see some Henley eye in it as well. Uh, the tail is moderate short. This Can one, see. the tail is moderately short with a slightly taller uh, flag at the end of the tail. Are you able to see it? Yeah. And there we go, now you can see yeah. it. Okay. And you wanna guess the sex or? No. No? All right, she's not up for games, but of course it is a male so it looks like we got even sex ratio let's spread his legs open a little bit and take a look yep we got two little dinghies there all right so we got three males and three females so a nice even ratio of fish okay we're gonna take a look at 
the mother because I'm sure everyone also wants to know who's the mother the mother is that one back there with all the tiny little Thousand Island spots in the back corner okay it's, it's one of the more beautiful hybrids I have here you can see the mother already very uh, closely resembles to to a black diamond but it has a lot of pattern and a lot of spotting the father I'm not sure but there's only two males there's the male there in that back corner with like those nice big donuts and then there's this male here which took some damage uh, a couple of weeks ago so um, I'm probably gonna be inclined to guess that maybe this is gonna be the father of the next batch only because he was a little bit picked on so he might not be as aggressive at this moment towards uh, mating so we'll see what the next batch looks like uh, if my prediction is correct it's that one right in the back corner and then that one in the back that's the mother all right guys so once again thank you for watching as always I try to share what I can with you teach you what I can I know a lot of people have been messaging me lately calling texting asking for advice okay I do apologize if I can't get to everybody because I do have a facility to run but whenever I have a free moment, I do try to get back to some people. I can't promise that I get back to everyone, all right? But I do appreciate that everyone's reaching out. And time permitting, I will try to get back to you guys, all right? But again, thank you for your support. And as always, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys.